like I feel like the inspiration is always there like even when I think about like relationships or marriages or children anything like that like that to me is like pure gold like when you think about stuff that <laughs> you that Like I'm on my prime like I'm on my prime. Be like this is my prime Be time like, This is my prime time Catch me in the limelight Catch me in the limelight Tell time. my mama be fine Tell I'm mama be already fine. made already it Don't made listen it. to don't the listen haters Go be right on the Lakers Five minutes of, of content I'm just on the fly um, That's, that's comedy right. but from you Because honestly, other than Dave Chappelle I, You know there's other good comedy, but it takes a lot of time. It's kind of stressful finding. So it'd be dope, and I, you know, like when you meet someone and you like them, you know, you can produce a, a, a comedy that will have a low detri detrimental effect on my actual life in a weird kind of way. Like it'll be positive and cool. Yeah, I'm kind of right now. Another reason I wanted to try to get a special or you know documented is because mm. I feel like I'm a slave to a lot of my old material sometimes. Mm. I would love to move on. So I, I've written so much stuff, but I'm like so stuck yeah. on man. People that love is, this so much. I gotta, yeah. keep, I gotta keep giving it to no, them. No, that is the coolest thing. And I think Mr. Composition, he's here too. Um, for those who are listening to the podcast, but it just makes me think about his thing because you know putting out the album and him. You know, we we talk a lot about um, that whole thing of like once you get in. Once you get your like that flagship project out, whether that be, I think an, a special is a lot like an album, but you can also put out albums, comedy albums, which is another thing that we should talk about. Are you on Spotify? Uh, I can't I'll, really figure it out. There, like, you, you there's a it. Spotify desert in San Antonio. Yeah, yeah. Like so many people who produce really good stuff aren't anywhere on Spotify. Like, yeah, you gotta teach up. me how to do it. Bro. I'm gonna I'm try. try we need to do a little workshop, like a yeah, legit that's, workshop that's for like neat. all creators yeah. of different mediums or just yeah. how to get stuff like that like yeah like serious serious and it's and i guess it is i guess it is i've always been too, doing too much of it like i've always had too many blogs and then too many things that i was posting um so that area i don't have a lot of friction in personally when i get to when i get to doing it and um i was bringing that well why was i bringing up the album and the special thing oh, the, the documentation album. or uh, just uh, getting stuck on old material too. yes okay so i think when when he was talking about putting his album out um you know like that's going to be super cool because he's had all this stuff and he has a bunch of stuff and it's just clearing that thing so you can make a new one and get it out last year putting out a book every month for me for my poetry was really cool because it really helped me get free of the flow of my art and really understand how limitless this game is when it comes to the fact that you can just let your art flow and you should because it doesn't matter about the people who don't care about it, it doesn't matter about the companies who do or do not give you deals on it. The, the fact is that art makes people's like souls and hearts better. You know, like you're helping people and no matter what, there's, especially with Instagram and, and it's, it's actually very much wild, wild west on Instagram and stuff like that. Yeah, you're, you might not get a hundred views or anything like that, but if you're consistently posting, I guarantee you, you're hitting someone who wasn't going to get hit in a moment where they weren't going to get hit with something and that could be really big for them. And it is really big for them, I think. I think it reduces friction and like the, some of the negative things that um, society brings to you, especially through platforms like Instagram. Having an artist on there, putting out their stuff, you are delivering value. And no matter what, that value is a bolt that builds up. You know what I mean? So I, and I think it's really cool once you just get in the, in the, in the habit of putting out tons of stuff. And then still fulfilling that other artist side of you that's saying, but I'm going to put out one project that's super special. I'm going to spend $5,000 you know, on it or whatever, if, if necessary, or at least that much amount of money and effort or whatever. Yeah. It's, I don't know, it's, it's a little draining sometimes, though, because, yeah. uh, you know, you get that, that artist block and you, know, you mm. start focusing on marriage and, yeah. uh, and work or whatever, so... I think, yeah, like, it's, I think it's very interesting the more and more that I think about the idea of like writer's block and when I think about like blockages in the body you know or in anywhere like there's a 
what is the actual block you know it's like something it's flowing but where it's flowing is stopped up so it's just like mm -hmm. I think a lot of times we limit ourselves into thinking that okay it's blocked here and I'm like going at a brick wall trying to like push through this blockage when I actually have to reroute it in another channel you know and that's what I was doing like when it went from music because it was just all like yeah it wasn't a blockage as a writer's block per se but it was just a blockage as far as where I was going with it and so it was just all like what do I do and it was just all like well there's this whole other funnel so let me use it to write a book <laughs> you know like mm. and then that may get blocked at one point in time which thus this dissolve for the music block then get that that blockage gets dissolved which allows this free form mm -hmm. of that to keep on going you know and I think it's being able to find creative ways to um, like I feel like the inspiration is always there like even when I think about like relationships or marriages or children anything like that like that to me is like pure gold. Like when you think about stuff that you, that unlimited material, because that's just plain old existed. Sometimes I hear about stories of people, like my sister will tell me just random stories of my little nieces that are funny as hell. Like that it's just all like, this is, you should be a stand up comedian because it's like, it's just funny. It's hilarious that, you know, that, that that happened, you know, and I feel like a lot of our experience, um, you know, Gary Vee talks about documentation over creation, which I feel like in itself is a form of creation, but even the act of documentation when it comes to um, specials, comedy specials, where it's just like, you're just speaking from experience and because it's you and your delivery you're able to give it so it's like you didn't really have to think of like this intricate like way to go about things you're just literally saying what literally happened and that in itself connects with them because someone in the audience like oh my badass kid like did the same shit last week or something like that you know but that didn't take anything you experienced it you know mm -hmm. like and that is a form of like a, like I feel like when it comes to the, the writer's block there's like several different like tunnels and it's like we can forget that there's this whole other funnel that we can use all the time which is our experience you know like being creative and like thinking of something new has its own outlet but there's that abundant outlet of just like experience mm -hmm. you know Man, 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 man. I thought of so many cool things while you were talking and like I don't even know where I went. I just had like a like a thirty year um exploration journey. But I'm super excited. Um I think there was one big thing that I can't remember, but it's not a it's not a big deal. One thing that I wanna do, I I definitely wanna I want to help you with some media stuff, like just add the extra fire to it. But I mean, that's already going to happen because we got, we got. You basically recorded a special yesterday, you oh. know. <laughs> um, but I mean, I'm just just putting some of that stuff out there and realizing. I think what's happening is there is there there is there's going to be. I think later on, there's going to be a couple companies that do some things that are going to be really helpful for artists, but it's going to be priced out of a certain range. So you're going to end up needing the same thing like record deals and stuff like that for most people um, to get into those things because what a human being needs right now to be able to be to, to I think to do a good job with their art and, and, and their community not to do a good job because there's lots of different ways but one of the ways and the one that I'm thinking about a lot a lot right now is simply the your production strategy for the week and we're at a point where you really need like you need an in-house not even just in-house like you need a in your personal brand production strategy because the scale of media is 1000 times there's the the volume like it used to be four channels and then it went to you know whatever 900 with really good cable but now it's like a billion because of, of YouTube and all of the other social medias out there. You know what I mean? Not a billion, probably like a, like a 
be a billion, actually, because for every human being, there's a channel now, yeah. because that, that's what <laughs> us all having our own phones now. And for every human being with a phone, there's a studio, a good studio, comparable to the studios that existed, um, you know, 50 What's years ago. Right then. Why are you so mean, excluding us, but it don't matter, we built our own, I, 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 I just want to fly